When we're talking about agri-food tech startups, we're really talking about technology that is transforming, at times disrupting the whole food value chain. Um, so keep in mind, we're tackling a huge industry, possibly the largest industry in the world. The agri-food tech sector is literally, uh, you know, it's it's not just the largest component of the economy, but it's certainly the largest component of the labor force in the world. Something like 40% of the global population is actually working in some uh, areas of the food chain. Technological disruption has arrived in the sector kind of late, only in the last 10 years, but of course, it has massive potential, not just in terms of return for investors, which of course there is, but especially in terms of bringing more efficiency, more health, more sustainability to an industry which is already facing huge challenges. Uh, challenges which are related, of course, to climate change, but also to the health of people, food security, especially in a world which is growing at such a fast rate in terms of you know, demographics. new wave, which already emerged a few years ago, uh, refers to so-called novel foods. Uh, novel foods, new ingredients, an area where we are seeing also a lot of application in terms of biotech. Um, but also uh, implications, very important for the supply chain, the use of technologies to optimize supply chains from certification to tracking uh, to making sure uh, food is well protected during uh, processing, transformation, retail, and so on. At the same time, there is huge development going on in terms of new ingredients and new food products. Uh, we're seeing a huge development and application of biotech technologies to the creation of strains of microbes for the production of novel proteins or proteins that can substitute existing uh, you know, proteins like animal proteins and so on. And not just proteins, actually also fats and other kinds of organic compounds which are essential uh, for the production of food. Uh, at the same time, we're seeing also huge um, development in the area of agriculture. There, from systems, from IoT systems that can be used to monitor uh, agricultural practices, make them more efficient, um, not just economically, but also environmentally, uh, to the use of new, uh, more advanced pesticides uh, that are not uh, harmful to the environment, like biopesticides or substitutes of pesticides, like specialized pheromones to keep parasites away, uh, new uh, technologies uh, for fertilizers, uh, and really inputs uh, that are more efficient and more sustainable. Uh, also in terms of protection of the soil, which is one of the great uh, challenges that we have because so-called traditional farming, which really is the industrial farming of the last hundred years, uh, can really have a disruptive effect on, uh, on, on soil uh, and, and, and therefore on the sustainability in the long term of food production. An interesting aspect of the agri-food tech sector is that it's really open to all kinds of different technological applications. It's not just digital. Uh, there is a lot of IoT taking place. There is a lot of space for robotics, drones. These can be helpful both in the farms and in the last mile or even <laughs> the last hundred miles of uh, distribution and delivery. Uh, we're seeing, of course, huge applications of biotech, especially since the revolution that we witnessed uh, a few years ago uh, with, you know, more advanced and uh, affordable uh, methods to sequence uh, new strains of microbes uh, and therefore proteins. Um, and of course, other areas of application now that we're seeing with great interest is uh, AI. Uh, the, the, the 
the LLM, so the, the, the large language models, have also very interesting applications in this, uh, in this industry. Um, and we can already foresee applications of technologies like in quantum computing to, to, this, uh, to this whole sector. So when we talk about the agri-food tech, uh, we're really talking about a new way of doing innovation in, let's say, the food space. Um, agriculture and food production uh, have always been uh, characterized by innovation. Actually, you could argue agriculture has been really the first major innovation in the cultural history of humanity, right? And innovation has been taking place all, 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 all time, you know, for the last 10,000 years. Um, what has changed in the last 10 years is that we've seen what uh, had already happened in the previous 20 years to other industries. So the arrival of these low-cost enabling technologies that entrepreneurs and engineers, scientists with reduced capital but with strong knowledge and very strong motivation especially can leverage to develop uh, innovative and potentially disruptive um, innovations. So what we saw the past 20 years, for example, in the travel industry or in the financial industry or in the hospitality industry has arrived uh, to the agri-food industries only really in the last 10 years. So it took a bit more time um, than maybe in other sectors, but now it's coming, it's ramping up. <clears throat> and what's most important is that investors are really paying notice. Uh, the investments in the agri-food tech sector in terms of venture capital expenditure have basically grown tenfold in, in a matter of 10 years. And now it really represents one of the most significant areas of investment globally uh, for venture capitalists. Of course, uh, one of the major drivers of transformation is the consumer. Consumers are becoming increasingly more aware of health issues with their food habits. Um, um, but not just that, it's not just a matter of, uh, just not a question of health, it's also of ethics, of how food is produced, especially when you're dealing with animal food, um, or ethics in terms of where the production is taking place, what conditions, for example, for labor, and so on. So there is a growing awareness by consumers, especially by younger generations. Uh, Gen Z have a completely different profile of consumption compared to uh, let's say my generation and uh, and also this is a major challenge it's a major challenge for large food producers but also for farmers for everyone to adapt uh, to match the the growing demand for healthier ethical and you know and more sustainable uh, food products well none of this uh, transformation that we've been witnessing in the last 10 years would be happening if it weren't backed by growing numbers of investors, especially professional investors in the venture capital space, pouring money into these innovations. Um, the reason why they're doing it, because they really see the potential um, of new markets opening up, because especially because of new trends in consumption, uh, but also in terms of bringing more efficiency. More efficiency means literally saving bucks, saving money that can, you know, therefore uh, generate huge value for the technologies that are implied to, to, to generate these savings. Um, as I said, the agri-food sector is possibly the largest uh, component of the global economy. So the, any efficiency that is brought to the system comes with huge returns at scale. And this is the major driver of interest by investors. So